Yes. Um, all right. We are recording, Joey. All right. Welcome to Take a Breath with Joe and Tom, the uh, my favorite podcast, anyway, uh, where we talk about uh, building a life and more important. Well, no, building businesses and more important, building a life. Uh, there's a lot of um, synergies between whatever you you know, I don't care if you're building something small, large, medium, uh, the, the principles are usually the same. Uh, so that's what we're talking about here. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing well. Sun is shining. Um, we're looking at 70 plus degrees today here in Happy Valley. So uh, Henry similar, had, similar here in uh, Connecticut. So Henry had a field trip. He has a field trip today to Harrisburg. So it's a good day for that. So it's his first awesome. real field trip on the bus. You know, so, yeah. That's fantastic. So let's uh, let's get started. Um, I I did want to. I get questions, and you actually wanted me to talk about this. We get questions about our logo uh, for Merge Analytics. Um, you know, why is there a yoga girl uh, posing on our website? Uh, so I I figured that would be a good time to address those things. Um, first of all. And I, I may even walk you through a, a little meditation, but I'm, a, I'm I, about uh, how old am I? Uh, about eight years ago, I got into meditation mostly as a, uh, a science project. You know, I, I love reading about uh, how people became successful, the tricks, the hacks, you know, and everything seems stacked against them what they did. And a common thread that I, uh, you know, came across was, was meditation. Uh, from people I really admired, both celebrities, business people, athletes, you know, normal people. And so I got into it, it changed my life. Um, I know you're into it. Yes. Um, and so the the yoga pose on our website is just that Merge Analytics brings a, a, speci- a certain type of calm to sales and marketing team because we're telling you, you know, uh, basically all, all the efforts that you're doing, we're giving you those results. Right. And that, and, and it plays nicely into the logo. We have three dots. What are those three dots? We have uh, email marketing, um, social media marketing, and website visits merged uh, together. And we deliver those analytics so you can make sense of it. So, I mean, that's a- anything. Did I miss anything? No, no. It's, uh, you know, it's, you no, know, you did a great job of explaining what it's all about. And, uh, you know, as, every time I turn the TV on or um, listen to podcasts, meditation has always dripped into how, you know, how important it is for, yeah. for your day. Um, and I was just watching a news program. I forget it was yesterday. And they're talking about meditation and, and they're saying you don't, uh, you know, don't don't find the time, make the time. Yeah. And uh, and as we started kind of bringing merge analysts together, started building the website, I think meditation was a big part of our daily, you know, routine. And, uh, and it, it, it is, it, it is an important thing to, to, to do if you don't do it, but yeah, no, you did a great I, job. I don't believe merged analytics, the company exists without us meditation, w- without meditation. I, I don't believe it would happen. Right. That's how strongly I think meditation is in my life anyway. Um, I, I am so grateful, you know, and I only wish that I discovered it when I was a kid, I don't know what I would have been able to accomplish. I mean, just the way my, you know, I, I tend to, I'm a thinker. I overthink, right. which means I then produce anxiety. If you're thinking too far into the future sure. and you're here and you're thinking there, I mean, you know, so for me, um, you know, I, I like to, it's like, you know, when you, when you pour a, a glass of water and there's bubbles in the water and, and you let that, you let that glass sit and and the bubbles dissipate. That's what it is from the bubbles are all my problem. You know, the things that I'm thinking about. And then when I just sit there, they go away and um, I'm able to operate more efficiently, more effectively. I'm not going, uh, Hey, why did Tom say that before? Uh, no, all of that noise gets pushed out. So right, right. Let, let's, you know, quickly um, I could, I could, you know, this is, this is meditation for beginners 101. Okay. Now we focus on breath intake. And, and so you breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, right? And you close your eyes and you do it and your mind will wander and that is okay. 
And what you're supposed to do is gently bring it, bring your focus back to the, you know, your breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And there's a reason for that. First of all, oxygen is, uh, this is another podcast, but oxygen is, you know, obviously it's important, but oxygenating your body. And, and, you know, we take, we tend to take shallow breaths when we're not paying attention to uh, our breathing. And so that has all sorts of effects. So just deep breaths in general, forget about the meditation. It's one of the best things you could do for yourself. But the reason why we focus on our breath and meditation is you're strengthening a muscle in, in your, in your mind where you are controlling the things that you want to give your attention to. So if you do it long enough and you're, and you're, and you're focused on your breath and your mind wanders and you bring back that focus after a while for me years, <laughs> but after a while you get very good at saying, you know, when a little thought pops into your head, Nope, sorry. You know, I don't want to be thinking about that right now. And that's what, focusing on your breath gives you it gives you a strong muscle to give your attention to where you want to so that's the first right. that's the first thing so uh anyway what, what, do you meditate like that i do um i uh i have a I, I was gonna save this for the end but uh it's one of my recommendations i know we like to recommend certain things at the end of the podcast it's all good but, uh, years ago i i mean there's a ton of them out there so i don't know if this one's any better than um the next but i I downloaded the first app on my iPhone. It was called Oak Meditation. And it's it's great because it, it guides you through um, the meditation process, it has this calming woman's voice. And then halfway through the meditation process, it has these chimes to make sure it brings you back to concentrating on the breath and where the breath folds, basically. So when you're inhaling and exhaling you're fo- focusing on where that breath folds so you're trying to keep that present state of mind and uh oak meditation again there's pro- there's a million out there but i really love it uh it's got all types of breathing exercises uh it has one that just it's uh, called awake so i know you're, you're big on um you know doing the the quick breathing exercise maybe before the fight or flight exercises yes. before maybe a demo um or a presentation um, or going and, into a party or a date or yeah, an interview anything, or anything, anything that yeah. might make you feel anxious. Um, and then it's right. got uh, some calming um, uh, uh, music that kind of just if you're if you're feeling stressed throughout the day and, and you, you you want that power nap or in the early evening, you just your body just feels tired. I put this on for 20 minutes and mm-hmm. if I, I feel like I'm floating sometimes. I mean, look, but the, the nice thing about the the oak. I've used it for years and I can turn off the, the, the guided meditation, but I keep it on. It really keeps me focused and, and it guides me to where I need to be. And I typically do a 20 minute, um, you know, meditation in the morning. And then I try to do one in the afternoon. I I don't get to the one in the afternoon as much, but if I get 20 minutes and out everyone out there, like everyone's like 20, 20 minutes, like that seems like a lot of time to carve out again, don't find the time, make the time. You know, and then, well, the saying is, if you can't find 20 minutes, you need an hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and after, after so much time, that 20 minutes feels like five minutes, it, you know, it, it, it you know, you, you start getting into this rhythm um, and it just doesn't feel like a long time. And then, and you, you brought this to my attention years ago, days that I don't meditate, I can tell that my energy level is shifted. And I am thinking uh, about the future, thinking about yesterday, and I'm not giving my present self to you or my customer or my son, wife, daughter, and I can feel the shift in energy. And um, I, I forget what um, what book I read. It was on tran- Transcendental Meditation, and Jerry Seinfeld uh, did a great job of explaining his experience and benefits with, with meditation. And he he talked about it as this tool that you always have in your back pocket. Like once you start doing it and you you embrace it and you have it, you're gonna you're gonna want to you, you need it. But like if you get away from it, if you get away from it, maybe you don't meditate for a couple of weeks, 
and and you need it, you can bring it out of your back pocket and it's there for you. And that I think that's pretty cool. It's kind of a cool way to look at meditation. Um, well, he Jerry Seinfeld specifically didn't meditate until he was well into his 40s. And he said yeah. that if he would have been meditating when he was doing the show Seinfeld, that it would still be running. It would have ran 10 more wow. years. Yeah. Interesting. And, and that I get up an hour. I'd rather get up an hour earlier to meditate than to sleep that extra hour. That's how that, I feel more awake. Yeah. If I, if I have meditation, then, then sleep. Um, but there, there are other ways. I mean, you know, I, I, I talk about this all the time, but I, I love the uh, stoic philosophy and, you know, um, so, some of the stoic sayings, but I mean, they were, they were meditators. Uh, and it's funny cause I had a, uh, one of the bullets on the dock is um, remembering that you're going to die is a great motivator. And in fact, uh, Stoics used to spend a lot of time in uh, cemeteries for that reason. And they were just, just to remind themselves that this is right. ultimately where, where they're going to, where they're going to end up. And, you know, and, and Steve Jobs gave that famous commencement speech in, in Stanford university, I recommend, um, about how, what a great motivator death is. And I mean, that's why he was so crazy about, you know, getting, not only getting things to be perfect, but, but he did so much in his time and he knew he was yeah. going to die because he had uh, cancer, but, yeah. but, uh, yeah. So memento more, I actually have a, a painting on my wall. Uh, it has like a skull and a, and a rose, like just to remember <laughs> you're going to die. And, yeah. and that should really, before you say something or before you, you know, whatever decision you're going to make, remember that you can die at any moment, basically. And this could be the last thing, like you, this could be our last conversation. So make it, make it count type of thing. Yeah. And then there's the other saying, a, a more, a more fati, meaning whatever fate comes your way, love it. Don't be like, Oh my God, why me? Be like, okay, this is what I got. I love whatever's happening to me and, and go from there. So I, right these are tricks. And again, this podcast is about building not only a, a business, but a life like this, these things I use every day, whether it's for motivation, for business, outreach, cold calling, whatever. And as well as when I hang up my hat at the end of the day, when I'm with my family. Yeah, I think uh, you nailed it. Like, it's not like what we're some of the things that we say are obviously easier said than done. But you have to discipline yourself to practice, yeah. make changes in practice, and then and then it becomes part of what who you are, and and then there's there are fundamental shifts in in, in energy levels, and then then it then you feel that balance, and we all know you feel the balance for like ten minutes, and then you shift it again and shift it over. But these exercises, and I think it's it's so important coming out of coming out of the COVID with with all the all the depression and, and all the stats that you hear about, you know, especially the young suicides. So, so, so sad mm. is, is the, these exercises need to be, um, to be, to be introduced to, to kids at a young age and, and little things like this can, can make a difference in, in focus and, and, and adjusting your, um, your day. So, yeah. So like, we talk about it and we're also talking to ourselves, aren't we, Joey? Like we're talking mm -hmm. to ourselves Def because well, always. we're, we're yeah. reinforcing, you know, to, to do this, to do it, to do it better, to do more, to, to, to achieve your more. And mm -hmm. that's what we're ultimately doing, trying to achieve our more, not more, Absolutely. Not more stuff. Yeah. Uh, just less more, Buddhism. Yeah, 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 yeah. Less, less thoughts, less material objects, less, but more experiences, yeah. more love, more, you know. Right. And, and last thing about meditation is it's not like, you know, because this happens, you meditate and, you, and, and, and a beginner and they'll really get into it one time. And they're like, that was amazing. And then they, they're like, I'm good. You know, I don't need yeah. to do that again. Yeah. And uh, the analogy I would use is it's like going to the gym once and yeah. saying you're in shape. Yeah. Like, no, you got to do it every day. It's a practice. And, and if you want to be in good shape, you have to, do, it has to become part right. of you. And that's how I view meditation. I mean, it's 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 more important than going to the gym, really. But well, you uh, know, you know that the day the day that you feel um, unraveled, like we all feel that, you know, whether it's five o'clock, one o'clock, or eleven a.m., whatever, and you just feel that 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 pull from each direction, and you feel unraveled, and then you say to yourself, "Did I breathe today?" Mm -hmm. and, and nine and a half, ten times, you didn't. You know, yeah. and that and that's when you're like, oh wow, let me get back to that rhythm again. And I've I found myself falling off that too. 
sometimes on vacation over holidays. I just, I don't, I don't meditate. I eat, you know, poor foods, you know, I drink a little bit more beer and I feel the, the shift in energy and I, I'm pulled in all different directions. And then my mind goes to places. I, I yeah. I mean, the only negatives that I've seen two two negatives actually to meditation um, is the first thing is, you know, you could be so much in the moment. Like I'm a planner. You know, I, I prepare for presentations, I, 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 you know, so when you're that much in the moment all the time, I've noticed that um, uh, I, it, it, I won't prepare um, as far in advance as I normally do. I'm like, oh, my God, right. this presentation is coming up. I was, you know, because when you're so in the moment, you, you're not thinking too far into the future. So that that was one. And then the other one is um, you could give off uh like your callous like you're not caring really but like when you're that much in the moment and meditating all the time a lot of the stuff that you hear you're like that's not important that's that's you know i don't need to pay attention to that and sometimes people could it could turn people off you know so, or someone could tell you a problem and you're like you know yeah uh, that's not that's not something i'm going to give my attention to right now or something you know like you could come off as like kind of like an asshole sometimes <laughs> but uh anyway any, anything else on that no, no, it's a, it's a great, uh, no, it's kind of a great segue and back to, you know, why our, our website is that yeah. versus all these analytics and crazy numbers up there. Like that doesn't really do. Yeah. I mean, people are like, what's up with the yoga pose, you know, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. supposed to bring some sort of yeah. calmness at, you know, sales and marketing yeah. is crazy, yeah. you know, so um, let's bring it, let's bring it down a notch. Let's bring just, it down a notch, which actually is a good yeah. segue recently. You know, I, I've noticed a trend we reach out, people reach out to us. Um, I reached out to someone who I just liked what she was doing online, um, on LinkedIn. She had a great podcast, great interviews. And I, I thought there could be some synergy with, with Merge Analytics. So I reached out and she was like, eh, you know, thank you. Uh, and but what, I forget exactly what she said but she was really nice about it. Right. And that was one of those days where Pete, some, you know, it was like, I don't, I don't know when specifically it was, but I was getting, people were just not responding in a nice way or weren't responding at all. And she stuck out responding nicely. Right. And so I responded back and I'm like, look, you know, thank you. <laughs> that was a right. really nice response. I appreciate it. I, I actually agreed with her that I didn't think, we would, you know, I, I, they seem to be pretty much covered. And I, I gave her a little bit more information about Merge Analytics, you know, $59 a month and GDPR compliant. It's great. It is a great tool. Um, and maybe it could fit into something that you may not be thinking. And, and she goes, you know, and oh, and then I said, thank you for being so polite. It, 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 I am sure that is a major factor as to wh why you're seeing so much success. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And she responded, and this is after she's always like, yeah, uh, you know, see you later. And she responded and she's like, you know what? You just piqued my interest, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, it, it turned out that she, when she learned out, uh, learned more about what we did, she signed a contract with one of our competitors and, and it was all good. But she said she'd keep us in mind if something doesn't work out and whatever. But the point was, was I was real in the moment. Uh, and she was nice. And, you know, I was just like, dude, thanks. And she was like, you know what? I will give you a shot. And just the point is, is not enough of that happens. Right. You know, no one, it, both sides were, I said, thank you. And she was like, hmm, she seems nice. And, and, and we both kind of uh, gave each other time just because we were polite. You know, well, she's you, busy, you, I'm busy, but go ahead. Yeah. Well, no, and you remind me of a story uh, that I had I had written down before that we started the yeah. podcast today. But what you're kind of, what you're referring to is the the, the, the the there's an energy uh, an energy level that led you um, probably past the point of where you may have been if the energy level is different. You know, maybe mm -hmm. a a callous or a harder or get lost type of energy. Um, I know I keep talking about this book, uh, Dancing with the Wooly Masters. You have to read it. And uh, Gustav, there, right? Gustav. Yeah, you, anybody should read it. It's it's a that's a recommendation. Uh, it's a quantum physics uh, book. Don't be scared of the word quantum physics. Gustav really breaks it down to 
a layman's level, but he he talks about energy forces and bending light and and all all this all the way you know energy plays into outcomes and finally he takes you down to the subatomic and and then and you're just like you're thinking to yourself oh my gosh i can't believe i can wrap my head around this stuff and how powerful energy waves and levels are to predict an outcome and here's my story it's a subway my way your way subway story but it's you know, Gustav talks about how two actions, two of the same actions in motion, two of the same actions can result in different outcomes. Now, keep that in mind, especially all you sales and marketing people. Two actions, same actions, different outcomes. So uh, we live close, few, you know, a few blocks from a subway. And when when I'm going hiking with the kids or going to the lake or going to skiing or whatever, I'll, I'll zip down. They love subway. Like Jersey Mike's too, but they like Subway too. So, because Subway was used to be inexpensive, but now it's now it's like that. Um, so I'd go down, I pick up um, two subs, and this 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 is my first experience going into the Subway. I walk in, and and the guy behind the counter, he he, I, I found out later he was the owner. But you walk in, and he's just excited to see you. I'm the only guy in the store. It's like ten thirty in the morning. I'm getting prepared for our day. And, I get two two subs, turkey cheese, foot long. That's it I get for the kids. They don't put a lot on. But um, I go in and he's got, you know, he's got this bright smile. How are you doing today? What are you doing? I talk to him about my day, what we're doing. Wow, he gives me recommendations. He's we're moving along, making the sub. Like I'm feeling, I feel good. I'm standing there and the energy I'm experiencing making this sub, I feel really good about you know, starting my day. So we get to the end, I, again, two subs, all, all my kids get is turkey and cheese. So not a lot of toppings, whatever. And we get out two bags of chips and it's like 25 bucks. And I'm like, holy crap, man, things are expensive. But because of my experience and because you made me feel good, when you sign out everything, when you, when you run your card everywhere, they always have that tip option, you know, I'm like 25 bucks, like, you know, like, you know what, because of my experience and because of the way I felt. I was compelled to tip on top of these subs that are now now expensive. So I tip them. I walk out. I'm ready for my day. And I'm going back there. I like the guy. I can't wait to see him again. I'm going to go. I'm going to order more subs from Subway, even though they cost more than what I can make at home. Right. So awesome. About a month or a month and a half later. Same thing. I go down to Subway about 1030, quarter of 11. I, uh, I go in and there's this young girl behind the counter and she's grumpy. And she just, what do you want? Mm -hmm. you no. Know? And right away I walk in, I'm like, Ooh, you know, I mean, she's a young college kid, probably she could have been hung over, whatever, <laughs> but that, that shift in energy, that shift. I went in, I'm like, oh, oh, is everything okay? I'm, kind of, I'm thinking, I'll take two, you know, I'll take the same thing. I was the only one in the store, two subs, same thing. She's kind of shifting that. What do you want on top? You know, like the, I felt the experience was very different than I had that experienced a month and a half ago. I'm getting somewhere with this. So I, I, so we get through and then, and then I'm thinking, okay, well, I, I certainly don't think I'm going to, to, to tip on top of my $24 for these subs. I mean, she didn't provide that experience. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, maybe she had a bad day, this and that. So here's an example of two of the same actions, but different outcomes. So I get in the car and the kids are in the car and I, I explain to them what just happened. They're like, well, hey, dad, maybe, maybe she had a bad day or whatever. But what happened is when I walked out of this, the subway, the, time, the, the second time when I had this, this poor experience, this 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 negative energy there was a fundamental shift in the way i thought and i thought well you know what maybe maybe we should start making subs at home and the kids are like yeah we can get the subs from trader joe's i like the turkey here i like the cheese here and so so we're starting to make subs at home now the for my first experience i didn't mind paying the money when I had that, that positive experience, this, and this is all tied into customer experience. And I'm hearing more and more, especially from the Gen Zers, how important that experience is. But the second time I went in, there was a shift in energy 
And as I, as I walked through and went down, she made me rethink going back to Subway, not, not, not just having a bad experience. She made me rethink of how I'm going to do things. So now instead of going to Subway, we're making subs at home. Subway loses money. We've changed, but she, she fundamentally, the energy level fundamentally changed the shift in my thought process. Wow. And that's an example of same action, different energy levels, different outcome. Yeah. And, and, and I apply that, I apply that to, to analytics too. Like it's amazing how many companies are unaware of, of who's on their site or who's, who's engaging with them or, and when you have that information, when you have that information on what people need, you shift your energy to a positive level and that will create a different outcome, a different result. So it's a lot, it's my way subway story, but I just, I, I just applied, you know, applied Zukov to two situations, same actions, same subway, different outcomes. So, yeah. Yeah. It's powerful. And, you know, I, 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 I can't help but think that you should tell the owner, uh, I'll go, I'll go back. I like yeah. him, but I it was kind of more for, for just the, it was more of the awareness of yeah. how the, how I changed my thought process, you yeah. know, but I love the guy. I'll go back. And yeah, we are running out of time, but um, yeah. But yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it's um, uh, absolutely. I mean, the, the experience uh, and, 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 you know, you could have, like you said, I mean, I, I'm just thinking about the, you know, the, the parent who wants their kid to go to a good school and they go to a good school, you know, one goes to a good school because they just want to do something amazing with their life. And the other one goes to that same school just because they want to tell people they went to that school to, they both are going to the same school, but for very, very goes. different reasons. And there's yeah. a lot that goes on like that, yeah. you know, doing good for the sake of doing good without getting accolade without caring if somebody says, Hey, thank you or good job, you know, being, being nice for the sake of being nice. Um, you know, there, there's just, uh, you know, even, even like being kind to someone that, you know, you have no use for right. is like the ultimate good karma, right? Like, yeah. like, you know, you have an absolutely no use for this person and you still right. are nice and hold the door open, whatever. I mean, it's, uh, uh, anyway, your, out, your outcomes will change. You'll have different outcomes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, elementary, but it's, it's true. We got about two minutes. Any recommendations? I have yeah. one, uh, one, remember Oak meditation for apps, anybody. And secondly, I had a fantastic IPA a few months ago. Um, Look at you lunch. The it's called lunch. It's, it's from Maine, uh, Maine brewing company. And uh, it's a it's like a citrusy IPA. Nice. But, um, it, it's a little expensive. It is, but I, I, I loved it. You know, I, I just um, that's why you make the big bucks, dude. Well, no, actually, I ran into an old fraternity brother. I didn't recognize me. He had this big long beard, long hair, and he bought me his beer. Uh, and I'm like, thank you, sir. Like, can I ask why you? Yeah. Did? And he's like, Tom, it's yeah. Eric. I'm like, <laughs> that's oh, great. Crap. And so he, <laughs> he popped over, and we were chit chat. That's a fun story. Like 40 minutes. But uh, but yeah, uh, lunch lunch IPA yeah. Uh, well, I got so I, I think I'm in med, I'm I'm very into me and my daughter are very into The Last of Us on HBO. What a crazy! Uh -huh. uh, uh, I recommend that. We are to, this is this has been on uh, by accident the meditation episode, but Untethered Soul by Mickey Singer. No relation to me. I wish. Right. Um, but Untethered Soul. That's the book that really got me first into meditation, and of course, I'm still reading Crossing the Chasm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, anyway, I'm almost done with sapiens. Which That's is all great. I got, man. Hey, thanks, Joey. Have a fantastic day, buddy. Yep. You too.